Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda Zittlinger and I am a neurodivergent woman. I have aphantasia, which is the inability to form visual images in my mind's eye. I have SDAM, which is a rare memory disorder, and I am on the path to find out if I am actually autistic. So a little update about that. Tomorrow is my three hour evaluation. So last Monday I went in for a one hour evaluation and uh, which was kind of like a history about a little like my childhood a little bit and like some current things, how I deal in social situations, different sensory experiences that I have. And then from there they determined to, to go ahead and put me to the three hour test, which is tomorrow. And that's a neuropsych test where there's going to be puzzles and questions. And um, I also filled out tons of questions online in some online surveys that they gave me to do this last past week. So I will definitely update you um, probably tomorrow afternoon about how the psych test went. Um, but if not, it'll be on Tuesday. So on this video, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about autism and the mall. So I like going to the mall, but it is a sensory experience. Um, so yesterday I went to the mall with my best friend and there is, um, this is the first time I've been back to the mall since realizing that I'm probably autistic. So I've always enjoyed the mall for short periods of time, but having the lens of like now understanding why certain things were hard, it's very interesting. And this will be common if you also are trying to determine if you fit into autistic characteristics and finding out if you are a late diagnosed autistic person. Once you kind of start looking through your history, your past, and then doing new experiences in the future, realizing that the reason why certain things might have you responding in a certain way is because of autism. It's like everything's different. It's very, very interesting and kind of hard to explain, but I'm trying to do my best. So um, the mall is an autistic person. And at this point, I am assuming that I am autistic. I fit so many characteristics. Um, in the autistic world, self-diagnoses are pretty acceptable, but I also would like to get that official diagnosis just for my own sake. But self-diagnosis in the autistic world, because a lot of times it is hard to get a formal diagnosis in at least the US, are very accepted. So, malls are crowded. Hold on, my cat wants in. Come on. So, malls are really crowded. And this is the first time that I've been in a while since after the pandemic where it's actually even more crowded. So, the last couple of years, every time I'd go to the mall, it actually wasn't very bad. But uh, yesterday, it was a Saturday, it was bustling, there were so many people, it was loud. Um, and I was trying to like navigate and not bump into people and trying to like negotiate as you're walking past people. It's like, oh, you know, eye contact, like, are you going to the left? Am I going to go to the right? Like everyone should just stay the right side of the hallway, but people don't always do that. So, you know, there is that. And then there's music. Oh my gosh, when you go into a store, they're playing music and you're trying to, like for me, my brain will always try to tune out that music. So I'm using a lot of processing power to not listen to the music. I don't like those loud songs coming from um, speakers. Like when I go grocery shopping, I wear uh, quiet uh, loop, quiet earplugs. But when I'm with a friend, I don't like wearing my earplugs because um, I have a, you can hear, um, when someone's talking to you with the loops, but for me, it's like, it even takes more processing power to listen to that conversation while also trying to tune out 
oh, it's exhausting. But then you walk in and the clothing is just colors everywhere. And some stores are better. Like we spent um, a couple of hours actually shopping in Express. And I like the way that Express, they have their store set up where it's like, it's done by color blocks and it's just much more soothing. We went into a really quick store, um, I think it was called Marisa's. Oh my gosh, it is just, you walk in and I was just like, I don't even know where to look. There was reds and pinks and blues and greens and everything was all mixed in together. And there were so many textures. And <laughs> my friend, uh, as she could tell, she was like, uh, is it, you know, too overwhelming? And I'm like, no, 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 hold on, just give me a second. Let me focus in. And it's like, I just kind of like tune everything else out and just kind of like, okay, I'm just gonna look here and then here. <laughs> Yeah, it's not going to have to work my way around the store. My favorite time of our day yesterday was actually when we were in the dressing room at Express, just trying on clothes. It was much more quiet back there in the dressing room. I couldn't tell if you, they were playing music or not because I was either doing a really good job of tuning it out or maybe the speakers weren't pumping back into the dressing room. It's kind of funny. That's part of my um, off on Tasia and my memory issues. So, because uh, I have total sense of Fantasia, so I can't think back to a memory and replay it in my head, which is the memory issues. And of Fantasia, I can't hear s sounds in my head um, that aren't actually present. I'm not explaining that well. You'll have to watch some of the videos on Fantasia. Anyway, so in the dressing room, <laughs> it was just the two of us, so it wasn't chaos, and we were just trying on clothes and laughing. Let me tell you, Express this season has some interesting tops where we're like, which way is up on this thing? <laughs> trying to figure out how to put this uh, outfit on was hilarious and we were laughing and having a really good time. So I do love the shopping experience with a friend. It's fun. It's a good social time for me, but there are lots of sensory stimulations that can be really exhausting. By the end, we ended up going to a restaurant in the mall too, which also was very loud. But by the end of the night, I was just like a little fried. Um, I had a great time, definitely want to do it again. But I mean, I, I could tell by the end, my sentences weren't flowing as well because my brain was just done processing. And so it's interesting because like I said, I've always been this way at malls and big crowded plow places, but now I kind of have the filter of, oh, I'm this way because I'm autistic and I process the world a little differently and other people, you know, might get energy from all those loud bustling noises and sounds. So, you know, it's we're all different. Anyway, I just wanted to share and I would love to hear from you, um, whether if you're autistic or not, what is your experience? Do you feed off the energy of crowds and loud places or do you prefer quiet uh, shopping experiences? Also, before I sign off, I wanted to mention this is one of my favorite fidgets and I talked about it in my last video, so make sure you go check it out embrace the stem it is amazing and make sure you hit subscribe because i'm trying to grow this channel because i think that talking about our neurodivergencies is so important for people who are both neurotypical and neurodivergent it's good to learn from each other so that we can coexist in the world because neither brain type is better than the other but we are different and we need to learn to communicate Oh, there's my cat now wanting out of the room. <laughs> Until the next video. Bye.